March 4th, St. Casimir of Poland. St. Casimir, to whom the Poles give the title the Peacemaker, was the third of thirteen children of Casimir IV, King of Poland, and Elizabeth of Austria, daughter of the Emperor Albert II. Casimir was the second son. He had two brothers, Ladislas and John, and they all had as their tutor John de Lugos, the historian, a canon of Krakow, and a man of extraordinary learning and piety all the princes were warmly attached to the holy man but casimir profited the most by his teaching and example thus animated from his earliest years by precept and example his innocence and piety soon ripened into the practice of heroic virtue at the age of twenty-five sick of a lingering illness he foretold the hour of his death and chose to die a virgin rather than take the life and health which the doctors held out to him in the married state in an atmosphere of luxury and magnificence the young prince had fasted worn a hair shirt slept upon the bare earth prayed at night and watched for the opening of the church doors at dawn he had become so tenderly devoted to the passion of our lord that at masses he seemed quite wrapped out of himself and his charity to the poor and afflicted knew no bounds his love for our blessed lady he expressed in a long beautiful hymn familiar to us in our own tongue the miracles wrought by his body after death fill a volume the blind saw the lame walked the sick were healed a dead girl was raised to life he gets the title the peacemaker because once the nobles of hungary dissatisfied with their king begged the king of poland to allow them to place his son casimir on the throne the saint at the time not fifteen years old was very unwilling to consent but in obedience to his father he went to the frontier at the head of the army but hearing that the hungarian king himself assembled a large body of troops and finding his own soldiers were deserting in large numbers because they could not get their pay he decided upon the advice of his officers to return home also the knowledge that pope sixtus the fourth had sent an embassy to his father to deter him from the expedition made the young prince carry out his resolution with the firmer conviction that he acted rightly thus avoiding a confrontation where his men could be killed one hundred and twenty-two years after his death the saint's tomb in the cathedral of vienna was opened so that the holy body might be transferred to the rich marble chapel where it now lies the place was damp and the very vault crumbled away in the hands of the workmen yet the saint's body wrapped in robes of silk was found whole and incorrupt and it emitted a sweet fragrance which filled the church and refreshed all who were present under his head was found his hymn to our lady which she had buried with him the following night three young men saw a brilliant light issuing from the open tomb and streaming through the windows of the chapel let the study of casimir's life make us increase in devotion to the most pure mother of god a sure means of preserving holy purity